What's up guys, it's your boy DJP here, bringing you another episode of Garage Days Incorporated, bringing you the finest fitness advice, health advice, workout advice my garage has to offer. Today we are approaching, not approaching, we're actually here baby, we are at Thursday, January 7th. It is another dreary, dreary, gloomy day out here, but you know what, we're trucking along, we're getting through it. I just wrapped up a leg workout, had some pretty good volume numbers today, Getting kind of getting back on track. Um, Hitting up mid middle of week 10 of my program. You know, I got a few weeks left of this mass program um, and uh, it's going pretty well. You know, I uh, spoke a little bit earlier. I started, uh, I'm going to be honest, you know, the last couple of weeks have been taking a big toll on my, my, my lower back from doing deadlifts, pause deficit deadlifts, squatting and stuff like that. Lower back was just really tight. It wasn't pulled. Um, just what getting out of bed, you know, I was like, oh, one leg out, other leg out, and just, you know, really wasn't really feeling moving and grooving. I wasn't squirming and worming, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, came across some great 10 minute yoga videos on YouTube. I really want to start incorporating that yoga into my, uh, into my fitness regimen. It's just, it's so important, you know, I really don't think, especially to my guys out there that had that stigma attached to yoga, thinking like, it's not for me. It's kind of a girly thing to do. It's really not, guys. I mean, there's nothing wrong with being flexible. Seriously, like, who remembers, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Bruce Lee, all these guys? Like, these guys were, like, dude, they were, like, a, a twirly doll. I mean, they can move any type of way. And you know what? It just, it's going to make you feel better. So I'm not out here saying I'm any yoga aficionado at, at the moment. But I'm, but I'm just saying, look into these 10-minute, easy to do in the morning. Wake up 10 minutes earlier. Start your day off on the right foot or the left foot, whatever uh, whatever have you. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking about a little thing called progressive overload and the importance of adding it into your training. And now this is usually going to be directed toward a lot of the new, the newbies. I don't want to call you guys new, but people who are getting into the gym, getting into fitness, getting into weight training, and really don't know which direction to start. Cause you see a lot of stuff out on like bodybuilding.com and you know, you search, search, search on Google, Ask Jeeves, Yahoo, any of these things. And you get th these like cookie cutter programs that are not really tailored for anybody. You know, I might just say like four sets of eight inclined dumbbells. It's like, all right, well, where do I start with that? Right. But progressive overload is going to be your, it's going to be your best friend in terms of gaining size, gaining strength, and just gaining overall progress. Now, basically, it is break the term down. Progressive overload. Now, you start off with some good baseline data, obviously. Now, if you're starting to get a new, uh, if you're if you're if you're first starting weight training for the first time, I'm going to go ahead and recommend that you look into full body training. Um, it's usually three days a week: Monday, Wednesday, and Friday; Tuesday, th Thursday, Saturday. Any, 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 any alternating third days you can get in there. But basically, you're hitting compound lifts. So basically, your your shoulder presses, your bench presses, your deadlifts, your squats, your dips, your pull ups, stuff like that. Exercises that are going to use multi muscles per movement. Okay, as opposed to like going in there and doing like a chest fly, which usually just can isolate the chest. I'm not knocking these; you got a time and a place for everything. But I'm saying like. If you're looking at overall terms of progress and success, when you're doing a bench press, you're, you know, you're, you got your back engaged, you got your chest, chest engaged, you got your triceps engaged, you got your legs planted. Gary, I'm looking at you for staying tight in this video, baby. Um, you're using multiple muscles per lift, right? And that's going to overall stimulate overall growth. And this can be applied. Girls, don't think this doesn't apply to you as well. You're not going to get bulky and look like, like the Hulk. Okay. That's, that's a ridiculous fallacy that, that just, it's, it's, it's not applicable, right? If you're going to get to get in bigger size, you got to eat more calories. But if you're looking for overall muscle definition and tone and muscle growth, this is going to be your best friend for all, all sexes, period. OK, so starting off with your baseline data, what's nice about that is it's a nice, easy way to get into a program because you're not going to start off by cranking out these huge numbers when you first are in the get go. Right. Start off with squats. I'm going to say for myself, we're going to use an average 135. Right. I can do 135 for three sets of 10. OK, I nailed that. I was able to complete all three sets, all 10 reps. Right, so the next time I do squats, which you're following, if you're following a three-day program, you're gonna do them the uh, the other day. So if it's on a Monday, you do them on Wednesday. Now, you have two options here. You can you can do a full week of three sets of ten at one thirty-five, knowing you're able to get them for the three days, or you can start to add weight. Progressive overload. You're adding small increments of weight over a set period of time. Okay, remember that the quote I was talking about, you guys, uh, girls, the other day. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Same thing with your body. So as you go on from 135, you can easily just add up to 140. You're adding an additional five pounds. You're still going for those three to 10 sets um, per, per exercise, but you're increasing the weight five pounds and so on and so forth, okay? So if you think about it, look, looking at a, at a 12 week period, you're gonna start adding more weight each time you go into the gym, each time you do a certain exercise. Now, this is not going to continue forever, right? Because it's impossible. You're not gonna be able to add five pounds every time you work out. 
But that's where you're gonna start hitting plateaus, okay? And we'll cross that bridge when it when it time when time comes. But basically, progressive over, uh, overload you can apply to your reps, your sets, and then your your rest time in between as well. So if you're resting one minute, you can cut back to 45 seconds. You can have it work with you. But I'm gonna strongly recommend for anybody who's new to weightlifting or who has a general interest in wanting to get into the gym, pump some iron, start off with your basic three days a week, full body workout. Look up and make sure you practice the move the movements, all right? Because honestly, training the motion is gonna get you is gonna get you better results long term. Okay, don't think quick, quick, quick. I'm not benching as much as this guy. Or I'm not squatting as much as this girl next to me. Throw it out the window. Okay, you're your own person. You're gonna start off and you're gonna achieve these goals over time. Just make sure you put your mind to it. Come up with a plan and then you know devise a plan that you want how you're going to meet these goals okay now progressive overload is nothing new you can google it i strongly suggest anything i ever talk about please do your own research on it i do not want to be one of those fitness gurus that says do what i do and then don't listen to anybody because there's so many different approaches to these but progressive overload is the key concept that we are talking about in this video so until next time this is djp straight out of the garden follow like and subscribe stay healthy stay happy and stay hydrated my friends i will see you all in some upcoming content